Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Saeed and today I'm going to be talking to you about iGuard's newest product, the IAVT, an absence of voltage tester. The IAVT is a permanently mounted device that is used to verify the absence of voltage on conductors in a panel as part of a process for establishing and verifying an electrically safe work environment as described in NFPA 70E Article 120.5 and CSA Z462 Section 4.2.5. The process of establishing an electrically safe work environment around equipment that has the capacity to become live is very important. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics indicates that 80% of fatal electrical injuries occur as a result of direct exposure. The IAVT is an effective tool to help reduce such incidents and keep your personnel safe. The process of establishing an electrically safe work environment involves a particular series of steps. First, verifying that the tester is working with a known source. Two, verifying that the conductors are de-energized by measuring face-to-phase -phase and face-to-ground voltages. Three, re-verifying that the tester is working. One of the benefits of employing the IAVT is that it performs all of these steps automatically with the push of a button. In doing so, we reduce the opportunity for human error. This also saves time compared to how the process would be accomplished if done manually with a meter. Lastly, it eliminates exposure of personnel because we are performing this test before we even open the cabinet by pressing the button located on the display unit, which is mounted on the front of the cabinet. The IAVT provides an additional layer of isolation between the user and the main bus. The control unit is inside the cabinet and is directly connected to the main bus, but no hazardous voltage is brought to the display unit that is situated at the front of the cabinet. Another benefit of the IAVT is that when the test procedure takes place, the IAVT verifies that it is installed correctly and that the sensor leads are working or are making solid contact with the conductors. Lastly, the IAVT provides indication that the system is de-energized. Positive indication means that the user is given a signal when a pass occurs, instead of observing that a signal has been removed. This is superior so that the user can confirm that the test took place and the equipment is in working order. In regards to the construction of the IAVT, it consists of two main components, the control unit and the display unit. The control unit is mounted inside the cabinet using mounting gears and has dimensions of 5.1 by 5.1 by 3 inches. Two sensor leads per phase and two sensor leads to ground are also provided for connection to the main bus. These are 6 feet long. The display unit is placed at the door of the cabinet through a 1 and 3 8 inch diameter cutout. The display unit and the control unit are connected via a CAT5 cable. The display unit is very small, but provides a total of 6 LEDs and 1 test button to initiate the absence of voltage test. The ready LED on top lets the user know that the IAVT has been fully charged and is ready to test for absence of voltage. Note that it takes 20 minutes to fully charge. Once a solid blue LED is shown, you'll know you are ready to test. The three LEDs shown side by side, labeled L1, L2, L3, represent the voltage levels seen on each phase. These will either be red when hazardous voltage is present on the load side, and green when no hazardous voltage is seen on the load side. The two LEDs on the bottom by the test button provide a blinking amber light in conjunction with alternating red lights on the phase LEDs just to let us know that the absence of voltage test is in progress. With that in mind, I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick demonstration of how the AVT operates. We currently have the system energized and as you can see, uh, L1, L2, and L3 uh, show us three red LEDs to let us know that hazardous voltage is on the system. 
What we will do now is we will de-energize the system and we will conduct testing by pressing the test button. We can see the blinking representing the tested progress and then we are able to identify three green LEDs, one for each phase to let us know that hazardous voltage is not present on the load side and that the cabinet is safe to open. Something to note is, something to note about the AVT is the use of its two sensor leads per phase, which creates a continuity path that allows the IAVT to identify when one of the sensor leads is somehow disconnected or installed improperly. With that in mind, I will keep the system de-energized, but what I will do is drop one of the sensor leads on one of the phases and what I will do now is retest the system, as we can see, the blinking amber lights to show that the testing is in progress. And no LED lights are showing on the phase voltages, meaning that the IAVT has sensed some sort of issue with the installation or the connection of the sensor leads. In summary, the IAVT is an effective tool in the process of establishing an electrically safe work environment as a permanently mounted device. It saves time and helps mitigate risk to personnel. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to visit our website and or contact any of our local representatives if you have any questions or concerns.